We live. We're live. Hokey dokey. We are back. Welcome back, internet friends and webcomic fans. <laughs> the time has come. Fight! 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 For fight! Part two. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Um. So. Uh, a fight is indeed what's about to happen. So this uh, half I, or I half ask, Goliath. I didn't ask what day yep. of the week it was, but I'm guessing it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> Need air horns. Okay. Everybody is thrilled to see uh, local boy favorite Rackgar take on the infamous Bone Crusher. <laughs> Uh, all the way from but but hold on. yeah I, I mean some some like little um some little like goblin man with uh he's got like a shock of uh black and white hair that kind of goes up like a teardrop shape all the way from mud hollow standing yeah. at <laughs> and he's gonna like get on like a little like a step stool to get up higher um and he holds a magic item up to his face that kind of has like a boxy shape on a little stick that amplifies his voice. Standing he's at 7'2", like 440 pounds. Wearing a little bow tie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is the brown corner. The brown corner and the green corner, because there's one is a stump and one is a bush. A bush. Nah. Weighing in at... How much do you weigh? Four, I, I have it written down on my character sheet. <laughs> Seven two, yeah, he's got the character 444 sheet. Got the character. Pound, or 440 pounds. That's seven foot two, weighing in at four, what is it, 440? 440 pounds. 440 pounds. She is not petite. Oh, not the bone crusher. <sighs> I'm doing poses. And in the green corner. Yeah. Standing eight foot one. He's a weighing big boy. Over six hundred pounds. Ooh. It's Prakgar the Terminator. <laughs> people start doing the wave. Yeah, people Stomping. are like, oh, Bracky. He's like their buddy. <laughs> I know all the okay. wrestling chants. So the first thing they'll yep. this is awesome. Yep. <laughs> okay. Says, this is bullshit. <laughs> so the two of you uh, uh, square off, and the little goblin with like the the the, uh, the hair. Um, what was that guy's name? The fighting promoter with like the white. Don King. Don yes. King. Thank yes. you. I was like, it's something King. Yeah, this is this little goblin's like glob glob Kang. I don't know. And he, uh, so he, like, gets off his little stool and steps in between you, and, like, he's, like, three feet nothing. So he's, like, not even up to your knees, and he's, like, looking straight up, and he goes, Now I want a good, clean fight! Oh. Uh, so you square off. Oh, well, I'll, I, I clean up nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break you, Bone Smasher. Rackgar will smash the smasher. Sexually. <laughs> I will blow your back out. <laughs> You're going to have to get a hold of me first. I will call you in the morning. You're going to have to get a hold of me first, big guy. Get a good grip. Uh, Rackgar hasn't, uh, hasn't clued in yet. I'll myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been horny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, now. Okay, so you're facing off. So let's start with an initiative roll. Hey. hey. Oh, not great. Oh, Alina, uh, don't forget, you have advantage on all strength rolls right now. Yeah. That is true. I'm, uh, I am keeping track. But my initiative is only a nine, so. That is higher than his. All right, then. Yeah. We both oh. rolled bad. I rolled, I rolled a natural one. Ooh. Nice. So you will be going first. He falls asleep. He has an initiative of three. Good. Very okay. Good. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, Lane, while I have been watching him warm up, can I do a know your enemy to study this man? 
in you intense detail. Can. I wish to study him closely. <laughs> <laughs> Nook and cranny. Large, uh, dubious maximi. Mm -hmm. uh, go for it. I'm trying to remember how it works. Where is it? Uh, Where is one it? minute to observe foe and lure their stats. Strength oh, there it is. Yeah. Con, AC, current HP, total level, fighter level. Okay. Um, it's going to be fighter level five, I believe. Um, it's it's not it's basically I've got him on hit dice. Right, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you actually I'm gonna give you challenge rating challenge rating five. Gotcha. I think that's an easier. Yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't have. Uh, I've given him some stuff, but not like level specific levels. Where? Oh, there we go. Um, so strength 21, Ooh. or sorry, strength 20, just plus five. Yep. Uh, constitution is 18, just plus four. Uh, dexterity is 14, which is plus two. Uh, intelligence uh, not, right? is uh, eight, which is minus one. Wisdom is ten. Y'all are gonna be dumb babies. <laughs> charisma, <laughs> charisma is ten, but you know it's uh, it's it's all what you're into. It's true. Yeah. Look, he's not much of a talker, but he doesn't need to talk. <laughs> it's better if he doesn't. He doesn't say heavily scarred. Yep. 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 That's hot. Good. Ooh. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. That butt, though, how good? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, good. Good, good. <laughs> I'd like to All know right. both his butt score and butt bonus. <laughs> you give it for the rest of his stat. It's true. This is being withheld. His, his butt has Plus its own stats. Yeah. Current hit points is 120. Ooh, boy. Oh, you also get armor class. Um, without armor... Uh, he, uh, so neither of you are wearing your armor. Yeah. Uh, which is important because you'll need to note that for yours. I will. Uh, I'm trying to uh, see how much of this is my armor. He has an armor class of 15. He has tough natural hide as nice. well as his, um, as well as his decks. Uh, your armor class without your armor. My breastplate is a sixteen. No, so so your armor class without your armor. Your armor gives you your base. Yeah. So without any armor at all, so your base becomes ten. You would have a twelve. Right. Right, because it's just your dexterity. Okay, cool. So he's uh, much more armored than me. That's fine. Yeah. He has natural hide mm -hmm. armor. I should have given you. Dexterity instead of strength. I'm sorry. Eh. I'll let you retcon that if you want. It's up to Lena. What would you rather have? Our AC? I don't know. A lot of these grapple checks are going to be based on uh, strength. Right. But you strength. already have grappler bonuses. Yeah, that's true. It would basically give you advantage of dex checks. No, it wouldn't give you anything of AC. Oh, okay. It, then let's if stick it wouldn't have AC, it's not worth We'll it. stick with the strength. Um, I mean, the only thing is, would be Bear's Endurance, which would give you 2d6 temporary hit points. Eh, I don't think I'll need that. Okay. I mean, he's got a lot no, no, more no. HP than me, but also, I'm a fighter, I get two attacks. And you can now very easily lift and toss him. Mm-hmm. Hey, so you have initiative. I do. So as you square off, you yep. get to make the first move. Awesome. I am going to what start What would you like here. to do? Ooh. I'm going to start with a uh, good old, um, just a regular attack, and I'll save my fainting attack for afterwards. I, I know, I know it's fainting spelled, yeah. you know, <laughs> EI, but I, I quite, um, I quite love like the idea that you're like, all right, let's fight. Oh, Swole. fall into his arm. It's like a fainting <laughs> move. No, yeah, yeah. no, I fainted. And while he's holding you, just punch right up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you. So I'm I'm doing my usual pre-match stuff before we uh, before we square up, where I'm doing all the the like looking around at the crowd, 
pointing at somebody, giving them a mean look. And I square up with him. Like, You're going down! Prepare to be crushed! Are you menacing? <laughs> Are you trying to use your menacing? Yeah, let's do some menacing. Because this, this takes menacing your action up. if you do this. That's true. It takes one attack. But I am, I'm the heel here. I am not the crowd favorite. Because okay. if you so you can use an attack to demor demoralize, you'll make an intimidate versus insight. If you succeed, yep. your target will be frightened until the end of your next turn. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, uh... so roll that intimidate, and I will roll his Ooh. insight. Dirty twenty. <laughs> nice. Insight is wisdom, so I have a dirty oh, yeah. two. <laughs> 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 I rolled a two. He has a plus zero, so that would be a two. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not great. So I, I lock yeah, eyes with him, and I'm doing this all with my eyes. You do something like you, you you like I don't know. Do some kind of like you pick up a stick, like a, a really really thick, hard to break, short stump. Yeah. Uh, and then I do some kind of crazy uh, maneuver it around your hands and snap it in half and kind of do it. You realize I'm prof I do this professionally, right? Yeah. This is your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I will add that, like okay. under this my breath dick. after doing this. I'm, this I is do... your dick on me. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the crowd, I'm doing the whole like, I'll crush you as easily as I crush this stick. And then I like getting kind of close. And I'm like, boner you do know that I do this professionally, right? Like, have you been in a ring before? Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> instead of a, <laughs> it's like a rock instead of a stick. I, I mean, yes. you crush a rock with oh. your bare hand. Yeah, he, he kind of gets like a like an uneasy look in his eye, uh, and you have a second attack. Cool, because I'm following that up with a oh, like a headlock. Like, I'm just going to come in and be like, are you going to be okay? You're, you're locking yeah? up. You're going to lock oh. up. That is a grappling check. Mm-hmm. So okay. roll your strength athletics, and don't forget you get uh, advantage on the roll. Oh, this poor thanks man. Thanks to Tromlin. This poor man. I rolled a 19 yep. and a 17. Okay. So your high roll is a 19 plus yeah. 11. Plus 11. You rolled a 30 on your grapple check. Cool. Mm. Okay, yeah. then. Yeah, this poor man. Now this maneuver, a free action can Ugna noogie him? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> there are a bunch of things you can do with bonus actions, don't mm -hmm. forget. Yep. Um, for one thing, you're a two-weapon fighter, which means you can do an offhand attack. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just double-checking how this one power of his works. I don't think it's going to... Um, uh, it's going to be helpful to him. So I'm going to roll his attempt to <laughs> evade your... Uh, I'm, I'm taking Lars' uh, Lars' advice. Uh, I was using my free action to give a, the ear glow, but just a little nibble. Just a little. Just a little taste. Uh, your, your bonus offhand action is to, like, nibble his ear? No, that's not my bonus action. My bonus action is going to be a throw... I'm going to spend one this of my... This is an offhand attack. Oh, that's offhand. That's, that's right. Okay, so cool. Unless you're using... Because you do have, like, a, a bonus action-based maneuver you could use. Well, this, right? that was my first attack. Oh, sorry, I used one attack on the uh, Intimidate. This is my, my second attack. Uh, and this is now my yeah, This is your second attack. attack gotcha. But you also have an offhand attack. Yeah. Yeah. Offhand attack. Uh, I'm just going to give him a little... To the, to the kidneys. Just a little. Love tap. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a... Um, uh, a brawl attack. Yep. So roll to hit. This is your normal attack roll. Remember, you get advantage when you have grappled someone. Oh, that is correct. So even though this is an attack roll, not a strength roll, you still get advantage. That's great, because the first roll was a 4, but the second roll was a 16. Uh, and Poor then guy. my... Yeah. You know he's going to go to the other hobgoblin. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You get the general impression that he owed some sort of like major, major favor to the other hobgoblin. Yeah, they called it a blood debt. Like he probably saved this debt. guy's life. 
Oh yeah, so, make him look that guy in the eye while you do this to him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Or you look the other guy in the eye while you, you've like, got this one in a headlock. You like jab him and then like do this. Uh -huh. This is your guy. fall. <laughs> also, the rest of you have seen Ugna like not in the ring before, where she's like jovial and pretty goofy and laid back. Mm -hmm. uh, in the ring, she is all business, and she looks like she's about to take this man apart with her bare hands. Well, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, this seen is it more than once. This is pretty, uh, to those of you watching, this is uh, Ugna suddenly becomes utterly terrifying. Mm. The whole the whole menacing thing is like, uh, Ugna has, Ugna is like super goofy and laid back, but gets like to intimidation rolls of eight when, uh, when she angry, when, 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 when they choose. It's a, it's a She-Hulk mode right now. Yeah. So you have a uh, hit. So what's your damage? Uh, just a uh, D6. Uh, it's a D4 for a D4 one arm. D4 if it's one arm, right. But plus your, you know, D4 yep. plus five, right? Yeah, so, so eight. So eight subdual damage. <sighs> elbow him in the guts. Um, or punch him in the guts. Yep. Okay, so it's his turn. Uh, he is going to attempt to turn this grapple around um, and uh, he's going to roll to break out of the grapple, but he is going to, uh, well, his first attack is he's going to break out of the grapple. So go ahead and roll your uh, athletics again. Remember, you get advantage. advantage. Okay. Uh, 28. All right. I have a nat 20. Ooh. And since this is a hit roll, that's a crit. Okay, cool. Uh, so he, uh, you've got him in the, the headlock. Yep. He grabs you by the, by the belt at the right, right above your butt and lifts your, lifts you up completely. <laughs> and then, and then basically, uh, pulls his head free and drops you on a knee. Like he's trying to break up a, a log over his knee. That's called an atomic mm -hmm. drop. Thank you. Yep. That's, uh, that's hot actually. I was describing. <laughs> <laughs> Lot, the two of you are getting very different things out of this fight. <laughs> <laughs> where does the character end and the player begin? It's very hard to mm. tell. It's very hard for anyone to lift Ugna over their head. So she, he lifts her and she's like, oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> what else could he do? <laughs> was, was I might he not have to be on top for once. <laughs> <laughs> was he frightened when he was making his roll? Like, oh, that's true. That? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Um, not, not to ruin Ugna's good time. No, no, uh, but uh, I mean, no, it, but it, I literally rolled two twenty. Oh my god! Oh, oh holy shit! shit. Oh my god! I actually wrote oh, one of them down on my list of wasted twenties. <laughs> <laughs> We're at five. Holy, holy We're crap! We're at five, five twenties that don't particularly matter uh, so far. <laughs> um, now he is going to drop one of his uh, maneuver points on this. Ooh, one of his superiority fancy. points. Um, and I think all it's going to do is add to the damage. I'm just double checking. Yeah, he can't really disarm you. It's kind nope. of irrelevant because you're not carrying any weapons. Nope. Your your arm falls off. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's going to do the distracting uh, strike. So basically, cool. this is going to like he's trying to stun you to some degree so that you're not going to be able, or so he's going to get advantage. Uh, or you give you disadvantage, more to the point, on your next attack. To counter my advantage, and it'll just be a straight roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, so uh, that adds the superiority damage. Ooh. So a total of 18 subdual damage. Oh, wait a second. More than that, twenty. Oh, Ooh, ouch! Mm. I forgot the crit means he gets to roll the. Uh, oh right. The damage from the oh, superiority right. die right, twice right. as well. Okay. But I only rolled two more, so twenty total. That was a crit. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Um, and his uh, his second attack was used already uh, in a way that you are unable to perceive. 
don't like that. He did that. a thing. Hmm. He did a magical thing that is not Ooh, visible. this guy's magic. Um, and it is your turn again. Awesome. Um, cool. Oh, that hurt. Shake it off. Uh, get back up, try and turn it around on him again. Now that I'm down here, I'm going to go... basically... I'm going for the waist, yeah, you're I'm going to try and bear him down to the ground. So you basically come from the ground and surge into, like, a, a yep. tackle around the waist. And go for it. This is just a straight roll, because that's Yeah, no advantage on this one, because you're stunned for a round. Or not stunned, but uh, distracted, two. whatever. Mm -hmm. What am I adding to the rolls? Just my uh, strength? Your, no, your athletics. Your oh. 11 <laughs> athletics. So 22. Oh. Mm -hmm. 22. Yeah, you got yeah. me beat. So you, uh, yeah, you get your grapple. You cool. tackle him. Tackle him down. Uh, and what do you want to do next? I'm going to put a pin on him. You're, go, I'm excellent. Going full go pin. for it. Yeah, yeah. So with a full pin, he can't do anything but attempt to break out of the grapple. Yep. Once you've got him held. Yippers. Uh, so. Uh, we roll off. Yep. Again, you don't have the advantage, but you just a straight roll. That 20. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to put that down as a wasted yeah, yeah. because I rolled a 7. Oh, man. So yeah. <laughs> you really so, didn't need that. I didn't um, need that. Okay, so you, you tackle him and bear him to the ground. And once he's on his back, you sort of break your hold with your arms. And I get his arms uh, and, in around. And you, you, get, you, you, you basically lie down on top of him and pin his arms, like, above his head. <laughs> so... And then so you're now and like, I, and I and I yeah. whisper in his ear. I'm like, you're pretty good. What are you doing later? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I tell you. Roll <laughs> <laughs> oh, a persuasion. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> oh, very excellent. Okay, he he is. He blushes. He is very distracted. You finally, it, you, you kind of like almost see, like you can smell the burning as the gears go clunk <laughs> into place. This is the first point at which he, he realizes he's being flirted with. Right, right, right. He was like scared of me previously. And then he's like scared, but also Man, horny. He might be a little he's scared. A little of you scared. In a different way. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> more scared. <laughs> he's probably still scared of you, but like maybe that's not a bad thing. Um, so for me scared a fear um, boner. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's never, he's never bottomed before. Uh, so anyway, next, <laughs> uh, uh, it's his turn, but all he can do is try to break out. Uh, Are I'm giving him disadvantage. Again? Oh yeah. <laughs> roll your, roll your, uh, your straight up grapple, your athletics again. Just yep. really uh, don't forget you get advantage. Oh, shit. I'm because you yep. still have the advantage roll on this from right. Cromlin. Right. Uh, and that it's is, again, an athletics roll, or is this strength? Say. Athletics. Holy shit, 25. It's always strength athletics. This is why you took, This is why you took the um, the specialization. That or what do you true. call it? The grappler feet. Advantage versus grapple target. It wasn't the target. grappler feet. It Pin was the... Grapple um, it was the expertise that you have. I'm trying to remember where you got it from. Oh, from your talent, expertise, athletics. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, I don't have my grappler feats written down. Grappler my, feet uh, just um, gives you grapple maneuver. The grappler feet just gives you didn't take the grappler maneuver because you it didn't give you anything you couldn't already do with the grappler feet. Oh right. Um, the grappler feet allows you to do a pin. You can't do right, it if you right, don't right. have the feet, and it gives you advantage on all attack rolls on someone you have grappled. Uh, okay, so uh, he does not break out, and that means he can't do anything else. It's your strain. <laughs> uh, I think, though, he can do it once for each of his. No, his I think attacks. I don't think he yeah. can break out every action. I think it's just one. It's it's his 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 attack. Uh, I don't think he gets to 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 call it like a weapon attack or an attack roll. So it's that a, was my first attack. Roll. No, no. So that was you're done that round. That's true. Didn't yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. This round is it's his attack, and he, tried he to break out. attempts to break out and fails. Yeah. So he, he is restrained, and so are you. Yeah. Until you choose to break out of this, or he manages to break out of this. So it's back to you. If I'm you gonna, want, you can just keep holding him. I'm gonna keep holding him and put like a little more pressure on his arms and be like, "Do you, you give in? 
You had enough yet? <laughs> or do, do you, you want, want to? So you can get out of the. You can you can swap your pin for uh, what I would call a submission hold. Yep. And instead of just keeping him restrained, you can start doing damage to him. Let's do that. I'm okay. going cool. to send something to uh, Ugna to say through my grandfather, because the guy's half giant. <laughs> Should I type this in like a DM or should I just say it out loud? Uh, well, you can say it out loud because say Copernicus loud is chat. like broadcasting it to the group. <laughs> Dare Uda to say, fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm going to spend the night in your fum. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Do you pass that along? Okay. <laughs> Tromlin says, say this. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, you know, I trust Tromlin. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe she that's knows, some kind of, She like, knows this words. thinking stuff. That might be important for the spell he cast on. He, he knows a lot about this. So, yeah, I'm going to chance that real loud right by this guy's ear as she, like, tightens up on the hold. <laughs> Is that an intimidation check? Hopefully he doesn't find that offensive. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I forgot, uh, and we should have done this earlier, but I, I, I'm going to let you roll damage. I forgot, you can use a bonus action to grapple after a hit. Right, right, right. right. Oh, like so I can, like, punch action. and then grab. So, yeah, yeah so, so roll me a damage from your tackle. <laughs> right. When you tackle them, you can actually do damage. <laughs> We've we're killed Randy. Randy's, Randy's actually dead. dead. Randy, I was going to say we killed Randy, but it was his joke. Yeah. <laughs> so then, um, I'm still rolling. I'm still rolling a d4 on that one, eh? Yeah, plus five. Cool, so that is the eight damage again. <laughs> also, this is not, like, just one of those, like, hold in place kind of pins this is like a like a ufc we're like both struggling around in the dirt but you've now like sort of rolled him over into like a like some kind of a, a submission thing you have a description like what kind of submission hold are you doing yep um he it's it's definitely the one because i tackled him onto his back so i'm now sitting on his chest and i've got my legs wrapped around his legs so he can't get purchase on the ground um, and then my arms have his arms like tucked in under me, or sorry, tucked in behind his back, and I'm like using that leverage to like really put pressure. You're on You're rolling shoulders. him. You're rolling him over, and then like pulling his arms back behind yeah, his yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. So the initial okay, tackle so was like face to face, and now yeah. I'm I'm flipped him over, and I'm on his back, pulling yeah. his arms so, out. So of roll. Me. Did you roll me the damage? Did you roll um, me the damage from the tackle? For the tackle was it was an eight. Okay. And now you can roll the, it's the same damage again, but roll for the um, the continuing damage. You don't that's need to nine. roll the hit again. No, that's a nine. Okay. All right. Uh, and he is not uh, not pleased. Um, you have a second attack. Do you want to do more damage? Yep. Go for it. That's another nine. Okay. Um, so you just start, you're wrenching on his arms behind him and like, you give up. Yep. And, uh, it's his turn. He is going to attempt to, uh, throw you. So he's going to try and like buck you off cause he's bigger than you. Yep. He's actually going to try and throw you. Um, he's no longer frightened. So I'm not giving him the, uh, uh, I thought it was for advantage. one minute. No, no, to your next turn. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's like for one turn. Gotcha, basically. gotcha. That's why I had the advantage there. Um, like it's one part of a feat that also gives you a bunch That's of other true. stuff, right? It's not like the dragon roar which lasts for a minute, which was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess this counts as a, a contested grapple as well. So go ahead and roll your grapple uh, against him. He can do the damage to you, but he can't necessarily uh, throw you off. Yeah. So. Oh, not as good that time. To... Uh, only a, a dirty 20. Uh, he has got you beat on that okay, one. Okay, yeah. Um, 
so he uh, breaks free. Uh, he basically like um, kicks his legs up, uh, like donkey style, and like roll uh, into a roll. Uh, so throwing you off and also like planting both feet in your back. Uh, so you're going to take do, 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 10 subdual total. Okay. So you're at 30 total, I think. Yep. He's only hit you twice. Uh, and now that he's broken out of that, he's going to um, now attempt to uh, put you into a throw, like a judo style. So he's going to basically get back to his feet, get a hold of you as you're sort of like half on, like on your hands and knees, and going to try and grab you sort of by the head, uh, and then put you into like a throw so he can toss oh, you across. I thought he was going to do the thing where you, where you grab somebody face. by the head and then you run them into the pole at the edge. Yeah. It's like a stump. <laughs> Yeah, over the stump at the corner, yep. Yep, yep. Brown, the brown corner. Um, so this will require a grapple roll from him. So once again, you get to contest this. Ooh, 28. Uh, you have beaten him. So I, I, I know this move. I go flat and roll out of the way. Sorry, I am wrong. Never mind. Oh. You don't get a grapple roll. This is an attack roll. <laughs> oh, this is okay. a... Sorry, this is a, um, a, a maneuver. So it's, it's an attack roll, this not a grapple roll. This is the throw and push maneuver, maneuver that I it's also a throwing, have. Yeah, it's the yeah. throwing maneuver. I know yeah, how this one goes. The one you've got. Yep. Um, so he beat your armor class, which is all he needs to do. So he did uh, hit you. So the damage is going to be his normal uh, unarmed damage. And oh, Jesus, he rolled very well on that. Uh, 18 total Ouch. damage not, oh, on, on a non-crit. Ouch. That is okay. one, one point shy of maximum. You see, I'll see Ugna's head get smashed into this uh, stump, and she actually like is like a little dazed Reels. for a second. Mm. Uh, that's starting that's to look him. a little punch drunk. It's back to you. All right. I am uh, going to try and turn it back on him. Um, I'm now down on my hands and knees. I'm going to like do the leg sweep, but this is going to be my pushing throw attack. So I'm going to like... Yep. Sweep him and then kick him with my feet so that he goes yep. across the ring. Whip, sweep him and, and like like punch him across the ring or something. Yeah, basically. Or you that sweep is, with the arm and then drop kick him. That is a dirty thirty. Uh, are you rolling grapple or attack? Uh, that's just the. Uh, you should be rolling attack. Oh, roll. I'm rolling attack. Okay, so that's a nineteen plus my strength yeah a, a lot no yeah. your attack bonus yeah 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 your attack bonus which is plus eight plus eight yeah that's a lot the 27, 27 definitely beats his armor class uh so yep. roll your damage remember to also include the Add damage my... from your superiority die that is true which is a d10 no d8 d8 oh, my d8 You're rolling a a, uh, a D4 plus 5 plus a D8. Yeah. Uh, so that is 13 damage overall. Okay. Uh, and then and I'm throwing him 15 feet in that direction, away from me. Okay. Uh, did you want to do... Th sorry, that's only one of your attacks. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm going to follow that up, because as he's flying through the air, I'm going to roll to my feet and then run after him uh, and try to, like, put my elbow down on him just as he's landing. Drop the elbow on his landing. Yes. Excellent. Correct. Excellent. You drop the people's elbow. Make another the attack roll. The people's elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Democracy. Uh, 21. Twice as much if you're a subscriber. Oh, sorry. That's not, uh, <laughs> that's not an attack. So uh, 18 because it's just a straight up attack. Still hit. Yeah. That still cool. hits. Cool, cool. Same damage, but without the maneuver point. Yuppers. Uh, unless you're, unless you want to add a maneuver to this. I'm going to add a maneuver to this. I don't know what maneuver I'd call this. I don't have I'm the stunning I'm pretty sure you one. can do more than one per. Can you do more than one maneuver per attack? It's, it's, it's per attack, right? It's, yeah, it's pretty based sure. on your points. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is another attack. You can always use it. So, um. Ooh. Ooh, almost max damage. You know what? Do the pushing one, and I'll count that as pushing him downwards. Sure. Yeah. What's your roll for damage? Uh, that is just a second. I gotta add all my bonuses to this. 
Um, Four plus five. five plus the D8. So that's nine plus seven is 16. Okay, now roll an extra D6 because you're pushing him downwards into the ground on this right. smash. <laughs> uh, plus another four. Okay, so that was, what was it? 17? 17 plus four. So 21. Nice. Or sorry, 16 plus four, so 20. All right. You still have a bonus attack because that was a one, ar one arm. Lord. Bonus, you use bonus action. Yep. How how bonus how action to like? I mean, not super. He's oh, no, remember he's he had really 120 tough. hit points. Yeah. Uh, I can't put him into a pin. He is, he's bloody. Yeah. I can't pin him again with the bonus. No. But I can it, just it's do an a offhand straight attack. Up. You can just yep. like give him a give him a kidney punch or something now that he's on the ground. Cool. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do that uh, and roll a nat twenty. <laughs> Nat 20. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crit on this dude. <laughs> Christ. Okay, so roll roll me 2d4 plus 5. Ooh. 3 and a 3 uh, is 6 plus 5 was 11. Damage to his face. <laughs> I don't get the uh, the plus 5 on, on both rolls, eh? It's just the two rolls plus my 5. No, see, you're only rolling two dice because it's a crit. Yeah. You don't add the bonus twice. No, that's cool then. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's it for you. Although I will point out that at any time in this uh, particular um, fight, you can use your action search. That is true, and I'm going to do that. I'm just mentioning it because it's probably a good time. action. Uh, I'm going to mark that off. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to do another throw. <laughs> I can't remember if your action surge gives you your whole thing back. It says or extra if it's just action one... once per rest. I don't think that would count like my normal action. I where I get like my does. bonus action. I think, yeah. One additional action on top of your normal action. You wouldn't get another bonus action. I didn't you only I get, get another one. bonus action, but I'd get another full but action. Your extra attack is when you use an action to make an attack get to make a second so you can still yes you still can attack twice Let's... when you like combo lock somebody in yeah. oh, so you yes. still get two attacks uh, you just so don't gonna, get another bonus action. i'm gonna give him another head uh another like p fist to the head and then i'm gonna pick him up and throw him across the ring you want to do like a two-hander strike oh oh no no yeah i'm gonna do a two-hander <laughs> strike handle, sir yeah like a double axe handle uh yep. and then nice. i'm gonna lift him up and do the full drop <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna smash him down with the double axe handle, grab him by like the the hair and the belt, and pick him up and do a smash. Sounds good. Over oh, my knee this time. Really First good. attack. First attack Hell roll. Yes. Jesus Christ. Uh, twenty nine. That's more than his armor class by a long ways. Your damage, uh, remember now, is a d six instead of a d four. That is true. Uh, 5 plus 5 is 10. 8. Uh, and then on the next one, uh, I'm spending my uh, throwing attack on that, so I also get a d6 and a uh, d8. This is your third maneuver used, right? Yeah. Okay, just keeping track, because you only have so many, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got the mark I down. I have 5. How many do you have? 5. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that is 10 plus another 5 is a 15. 15 to hit? Uh, nope, that's the damage. Uh, I you gotta roll a, a hit, though. Yeah, so 15 plus 8. 23. What's your hit roll? Oh, that was your hit roll. I, so 23, both, that'll I hit. I both rolled a 15 to hit and a 15 for damage. So total of 15 damage? Yeah. On that second one? And that second one's the throw, so he goes that way. And that included your superiority die? Yeah. Okay. So you throw him like several feet and smash him to the ground. As I'm yelling, I'm like, <laughs> crush you. Okay, I would like you to roll me and intimidate. Cool. Because you have pushed him over a hundred subdual damage. <laughs> uh, Crimson's bones. 
What is she's my... She's got one bone she's crushing tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 22. <laughs> he is also... So in his attack, he is going to attempt to grapple you. So this means you've got to roll off with him. So he, yep. like, surges back to his feet, and he is attempting to tackle you to the ground now. Nope. What'd you uh, roll? I rolled a 19. <laughs> oh, yeah. You win. <laughs> I rolled very well, but I didn't. I, he's getting, I can't match he's getting, your plus eleven. Yeah, he's getting punch, uh, punch drunk at me, uh, and yeah. so he comes in for the bull rush, and I just step aside. Uh, so he, he fails on the grapple. So he's gonna wheel around and try and backhand you. So this is a straight up armor class hit. Yep. Uh, so this succeeds. He hits you uh, for another seven damage. Ooh, seven some duel. How are you doing? Uh, 55 out of 67. You haven't used your second wind yet, though. No, I have not. And but that's a and bonus. I'm a half orc. Oh, I know. Oh no, I'm a full orc. I know you got. I know what you got. Lane? I know what you got. Like, so she, is uh, is Una looking bad? Uh, you don't know yet because you haven't seen all of the fight. Um, Ugna's definitely bloodied at this point. Because I have a spell called Prayer of Healing. I don't. Oh yes. To be next. <laughs> but give me a second. Um, so the um, uh, I would say there's no way to do that without it being obvious. Seen, yeah. There's gonna be like radiant light when you use a healing spell on somebody. Um, also, it's okay. I got at least another hit or two in me. Um, I'm all about cheating. So he <laughs> he missed with the he missed with the grapple. He hit you with the backhand. He is also gonna spend his action surge. Good. Yep. It's his turn to do so. Uh, and he is going to uh, use uh, More like his a last... Surge. Oh, no, sorry, he's out of maneuver points on this. Uh, so he's going to, like, then, having backhanded you on that one, he is then going to attempt to just bull you to the ground, like, tackle you to the ground. This is uh, maneuver, his, his last maneuver point. He hit you, so you're going to take another eight. Okay. Subdual. And then his maneuver point. 63 out of 67. What, what are you at? 63 out of 67. Okay, well, his maneuver point is going to do another three. Yep. So you're at 66 I out of 67. I've still got one hit point left. <laughs> I'm not down okay. yet. He has one more. Uh, he has a second action from the, or second attack on that action. We've got uh, so having, zero points. We might need to. <laughs> having knocked you to the ground. Well, no, Ugna's got more tricks up upper sleeve here uh he is going to having uh bowled you down to the ground um with that attack um and knocked you sprawling uh with his maneuver point uh he is going to uh do the hulk hogan leg drop oh good oh good and like jump up and drop the leg across your throat Ooh. and he has beaten your armor class so Ooh. this does some damage but because you're an orc you are at one hit point. Yep. You do not. So Ugna's go down. Ugna's down. She's like struggling to get back up. Her eyes aren't quite focused, and he drops the knee on her, and she looks like she's out for the count. Uh, and then she's gonna come back, grab the back of his head, and just go. So I take it you're gonna start with your bonus action to do the healing. Uh, yes, correct. So that's a D10 plus yep. seven. I'll just roll uh, it for you. Yeah, please. I've got it handy. I got an 8, actually, because I am faster than you. Oh, well, I rolled a 10. <laughs> well, oh, well, I'll take yours. Oh, I guess uh, you, rolled, you rolled before me. So I you guess. Got 15. I guess uh, that works. <laughs> so you got 15 hit points. No, no, I got so 18. Six. Oh, no, yeah, D10 plus 7. 15. Yeah. Woo, 15 plus, hit points. Uh, plus 1. Plus the one that you still had. Right. So you're at 16 I'm at 16 hit points. Hit points. Um. And uh, it's your turn, and you're going to grab him and do the headbutt. Um, are you doing that as a grapple? Are you trying to get a hold of him? Or are you just going to... Uh, he looks like he's also just about ready to tip over here. Yeah, actually, wait, you can't... I keep forgetting, you have the brawler feet. You can <clears throat> grapple with the, yeah. the, the hit. Yeah, so I'm going to headbutt him and then pin him. Like, as roll him over the, and, and pin him. You headbutt him, but you're grabbing him as part of the headbutt. So yep. roll to hit. Yep. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Uh, 17. You need to break. That's over 14. You hit him. Yep. 
Roll your damage. Heck 1d4 yeah. plus 5. Only a 7 this time. Okay. And you have another attack? I do, and I also have another uh, um, superiority point that I'm going to burn on this. I'm going to call this a pushing attack. Uh, yep, that is a uh, 16 plus 8 to hit. Oh, roll with advantage. Oh, shit, right. The, uh, you have been grappled, so you get to roll with advantage on this Yep, one. so that is a 18 plus 8. I was just checking because it might have... Either one hits. It if it was a crit, it might have crit, right? yeah. That would have been All very right. dramatically appropriate. Roll your damage. 1d4 plus 5 yep. plus your d8. This is going to be it, probably. Plus 5... Plus a D8. <laughs> uh, 13 damage. Hmm. So 8 plus 5, 13. So having uh, smashed his face into yours, uh, into your head, and, and I got him reeling, keeping a hold of him by the hair, you stand up and clock him with the the pushing strike so he goes flying and he does that cartoon Popeye thing when Popeye punches whichever one of the Bluto, Brutus, whatever and his head snaps back and he goes whoo <laughs> and his head snaps back and he kind of goes up off the ground and backwards and then thump he lies on his back unconscious uh, and then I'm going to like throw my fists up in the air and do like that orcish deep deep bellow at the crowds where I'm just like whoo showing off my tusks generally being intimidating <laughs> uh, are they chanting my no. name <laughs> um, <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, so we made friends uh, Yay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do so it while that was happening <laughs> uh, quickly back to Randy Mm -hmm. um, so as you guys were drinking and before the fight really got started, um, Shagrat, uh, would turn to the, the, um, map, uh, and talk to you a little bit about, like, um, tactical information, basically. Yeah. So he's going to let you know, first of all, uh, the numbers that they've encountered which are significant, but he doesn't know their total numbers because they keep having, like when he thinks they're all at Camp A, there'll be a raid somewhere else on the road. And this makes sense because these uh, Night Slayers, A, they're from tribes like in the North. They live, they don't like necessarily live in one place. They're nomads. But B, as you've discovered, they have... Uh, stealth abilities. They basically have like pass without trace um, and they uh, pop popping up all over the place at random is kind of uh, makes sense. So this is why he's like we're outnumbered at least two to one. Yeah, But there could be loads more of them in the north. We really don't know. Um, but he does know that uh, they also have like bandits who used to work for him. Yeah, and those bandits are set up at the camps specifically. Um, so the the camp that you guys were visiting or were, were seeing by the storm mirror is one of those camps, and that camp and the furthest north camp are the two that he believes um, Shaylin Park is likely to be found. One of those two camps, um, like the others, she moves back and forth between them. Oh, yeah, obviously. but that would be that would be the logical place to look for her. The other three camps, uh, now four that they control, are all closer to the road. Those are the camps where they would be more likely to make raids. Um, Shaylin is going to be staying kind of behind the lines. Okay, so those two camps are the places where Shaylin is likely to be found. Um, he'll share a bit of other stuff with you that we don't need to go into right now, but like tactics that they tend to use. Some of this you already know. They're kind of you've seen them in action a bit, so you know kind of what how they employ. Um, uh, he tells you a bit about their that they have spellcasters. 
um, which you also know were basically uh, cleric-like. Um, and then towards the end of your discussion, as he's sort of telling you like what, what he knows about this, um, he also tells you a bit about what he's heard of like the, the local folklore as far as these raven spirit things. Um, and people, the stuff people say about the Night Slayers, because of course they've been out here like as these nomadic tribes people in the north for a long time. So there's a lot of sort of, you know, people say you don't want to, you know, they all, they, they tend to move at night. They, mm -hmm. you know, they, uh, and, and so forth. Um, towards the end of this conversation, the two of you will kind of like hear the roaring of the crowd as the battle gets particularly exciting. And you basically <clears throat> come out just in time uh, to see uh, the tail end of this fight as Ugna uh, looking for a moment like uh, she's out, like she's down and being pinned does like a get back up and like you know get the crowd like oh, like Hogan thing. yeah it's like does that what is that thing that Hogan does when he's trying to get up and he starts like just doing this oh yes. yeah, the power yeah. thing. Ching, ching. one, one he's foot shaking full feet yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. and he's just like vibrating Hulk Hogan and spitting everywhere <laughs> and, piece of um, shit. and yeah, then and then she mm -hmm. like punches him across the the, the the clearing um like his boots he fly the off of andre the giant yeah. yes correct mm -hmm. and bam he's down and out and this little goblin with the hair comes like flying over and goes one two three yeah and the crowd I just look, roars i look at shagrag and i'm like oh crusher it's gonna be happy crusher, oh crusher mm -hmm. and he's like All right, this better be worth it. We're gonna find so out. Meanwhile, so meanwhile, <sighs> Glorpa and Fedid, you've been watching the show. Mm -hmm. But Copernicus, you've been searching the camp. I've been snooping. So, mm -hmm. you have found three things of interest. Ooh. One, in a canvas sort of store shanty. Mm -hmm. um, you find, you know, food, supplies, arrows in bundles, but you find uh, of particular interest uh, a bunch of what look like giant dried mushrooms. And you realize that they are probably not so much gathered as hunted because you recognize the ki types of, oh, uh, no. of, of uh, fungus. My friends who st stole from me and I hunted. <laughs> and I'm not saying that they are the specifically the same yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. There wouldn't have been time for them to kill them and dry them, but yeah. they obviously have hunted uh, myconids in the woods. Okay. Uh, the second thing of it, and, and you, um, I won't make you make an arcana roll. Um, you're, you don't know if the bandits did this because of like food or because of uh, other reasons, but you know that these would be like pretty useful magical ingredients. Okay. Um, particularly for like magical potions. Um, mm. And you're not sure if that's why they were collected. Um, for this jerky. I'm gonna, uh, if, I, if I'm allowed to while I'm snooping around, I'm gonna feed one to the bucket because I feel like the bucket deserves some oh, yeah. revenge. You can absolutely <laughs> feel <laughs> revenge. Yeah. A little, a little taste of revenge. Excellent. Yeah. Um, the second thing that you discover um, is a uh, uh, a shed, like a shack, one of these little little partly built buildings on the side of the tree, um, but one that's closer to the ground so that people can like move things into it and out of it, um, uh, is set up like some sort of infirmary. Um, and there are a variety of uh, uh, magical potions that you can detect. Um, on the shelves in this uh, little space, uh, which leads you to believe that someone here is some sort of uh, maker, some sort of alchemist mm -hmm. or artificer. Gl Glorpa likes liquids. I'm going to steal the coolest looking potion for Glorpa. <laughs> nice. You can figure out what they are later. Yep. And the third thing <laughs> you discover is the... Uh, um, 
tent where the where the well guarded tent where the prisoners are. And I emphasize the plural because mm. there is more than one prisoner. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and imprisoned in this uh, little tent, um, all tied to these mobile poles that have been uh, pinned to these. Um, uh, you you kind of get the impression that there are basically like huge stakes that have been pounded into the ground that have like a, a metal fixture where they can put a pin through these holes and then they can move their prisoners around from stake to stake. Um, and there are three prisoners standing in this uh, little tent, one of which is Tom Shattersmith. Um, the other two uh, individuals you don't recognize, one is um, a raven folk. Okay. Mm. Uh, he does not appear to be the ones that you've met. Heracles and Jericles. Okay. Um, and the second is a uh, rather crazed looking goblin. He has a huge, long white beard that's long enough that it would be dragging on the ground, but it's basically kind of wound slash tucked into his belt. Mm -hmm. um, and he has very bulging, crazy looking eyes with enormous, like, bushy eyebrows. He has the big flappy bat-like goblin ears, but then his eyebrows like jut out almost as far. Okay. I am um, he's I bound I and gagged a... like the other two. Okay. I had kind of a plan for like getting ready to spring Tom if things went poorly, but I don't think it's like, I, I don't want to use up time on, on it really. But I'll what I'll do is maybe send a description. I'll say like, I found the prisoners. I'll spring Tom if things go badly. Does anyone recognize, and I'll like describe the long beardy goblin with crazy buggy eyes and a raven folk who isn't one of the two jabronis that we ran into earlier. A lot of wrestling talk tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, For some reason. Me, please do yeah. not spring Tom. Ugna just beat the ever-loving shit out of her, uh, her fuckmate for the night. All right. Save me some blood. <laughs> I will point out, too, that Ugna looks... Really like Ugna is like just bloody oh, face. Gonna, oh, yeah. And, yeah. I'm gonna go with yeah. you. Ugna. It's been There's a no match. On I'm yeah. just saying it was a match. It was not a one sided no. match. No. Oh, no. Not, not even close. I understand um, that. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying uh, to run him down. I'm just saying. And this is that. a good point for our second poll of the night. Ooh. I'm well, getting rid of the chat. <laughs> so I would, yeah, I'd like Whoop. you guys to jump oh, out of the chat. I'm gonna not throw my Listen, phone on the floor. And I would like uh, my shadow DM to post the second poll. There it is. Uh, as always, I will remind the audience uh, that you can uh, vote multiple times if you want to drop any bits or channel points on your vote. Uh, as always, subscribers get double votes, whether you're getting them with bits or it's just your regular vote. Um, and of course, as always, I'll just mention subscribing is a great idea for various reasons. Supports the channel, which is great. Gets you ad-free viewing and gets you access to the secret Discord. As well, as uh, I didn't mention before, allows you to be part of the draw. Um, every game we have a draw for a sketch card produced by our wonderful uh, internet cartoonists. And I think this is a good time, Alina, if you've yeah, got I can pull a that file, up. Let me uh, to show off uh, the... A uh, sketch card for Lady Toad and Yoshi. There it is. From our previous draw. With a uncomfortably sexy sword. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the sexiest possible sword. My, my deeply upsetting sword. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, for this to show the up. good monkey. Trumlin's yeah, monkey friend. Like, like oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent monkey. Oh, by the way, uh,. Ugna, I just healed for 16 points. Ooh, thank you. That literally doubles my uh, hit points. <laughs> I liked um, I liked Glorpa or Glorpa. I like Danielle's comment uh, mm -hmm. that was made in the in the Discord earlier that uh, you can't tell if that's uh, a, a boob and butt twist sword or if it's just got two amazing butts. Yep. It's just butts all the way down. It's only got one eye, and so I mean, who knows how sword anatomy works? <laughs> I should think it's all boobs. It could be a, it could, it could be all boobs. Yeah, it's all boobs. It could be a, pl a plus three sword of boobs. 
And all boobs. It needs an extra set of boobs then. It's a plus three. Oh, it's a plus two sort of boobs. I see. Sorry. All right, so you can get fine art like this for being our subscribers. Indeed, indeed. So only, as always, only 10 minutes on the poll. And uh, while that poll is running, uh, you can go ahead and switch back. Yep, already done. So Tromlin did a heal on Ugna. Oh, right, I need to add that to my hit points. Yep. Penis and butt sword, may potentially. Also, may I also heal her, if I remember how to do this? Uh, you can indeed. Oh, can I do that? Yes. Can I do that while I'm a snake? Yep. Okay. I mean, <laughs> technically no, but... Something I, about I the way you role. said that made I me really think that, like, kind. you were just going to turn really me into a snake. <laughs> You're like, if I can remember how to do <laughs> this. <well> mean. <laughs> Polymorph. Uh, I'll let you... How oh. about how about drop an inspiration on it? And I'll just let you... We'll use that as a standing oh, rule. If you drop an inspiration, yeah. then for the scene, you can cast spells while in animal form. It's a dumb thing that they basically keep druids from being able to do until they're really high level. Ah, oh, that's fair. Um, I feel like an ass, but I don't remember what to do. What Do I just roll a d20 for oh, a heal? Oh, people aren't seeing the poll. You might need to refresh your connection. Not only is the poll there, but there are like 24 votes already on it. Hmm. Just refresh the page. I had the, the stream die on me a while ago. I just like, I went to the page and it just said not available something and I just refreshed it. It's fine. It's glitchy tonight. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you keep the same page open for a long period of time and weird stuff happens. Lane, do you know offhand what how to how I heal? I have like a very long yeah, it doesn't, formula. It doesn't here. require that you make a roll. You just can you just roll the the, the healed um, the hit points. So you just have to decide what level you want to drop on it. Um, oh, okay. Uh, you can like you can do a four, but that would be your only fourth level spell. Um, right. So and actually, polymorph was in fourth, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So you might okay. want to do so, more like a two or a three, uh, and it's yeah, just a number three. of dice. Um, I believe Which it's D8s, but I'm just quickly pulling it up to double check. Yeah, sorry. Yes, it is. I have it like really convoluted written down. So it's, it's right. D8, so if you're going to cast it at level 2, it's 2D8, 3, it's 3D8, and so on. Okay, cool. I'll do 3. So 3D8 right. plus your spell casting ability, which is 4? No, 5. And I think Glorpa used a third level heal on me after the demon cut me up real bad. I think so, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. true. So this is your second um, third level. So you said yeah. just three times for the D8, yes? Yeah, so 3D8 plus five total. Okay, cool. Oh, plus five. Uh, oh, wait, she's... I'm literally sitting here trying to add. Hold on. Uh, 19 plus 5, you said? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, I'm just, uh, oh, okay, look, no I'm checking out on things in the chat here. I'm not sure, uh, Kaitu, what the double vote, like, it just, that's just what it tells us that it does under the subscriber list. It may be that that only applies to bits spent. I'm not sure, um, that does it two for one. It just says double votes. Maybe it just means you get to vote more than once. Can you vote twice without spending anything? Because if so, that might be what they're saying. I'm not sure. Discord gives us very sort of vague descriptions of how this stuff works. Mm. Elaine, I just want to clarify. Did you say plus five at the end of the yeah. three rolls? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, 24 for you. Nice. As a, nice. As a big, a big fat heal. As a big yeah. chunk of healing. <laughs> People can hear me in the Discord right, or Ooh. in the chat, right? Just making sure my comments to Kaitu were noticed. Nope, apparently not. There's only the bits and channel points for us and no regular one. So it's not just letting you vote more than once. Maybe it only applies to bits and channel points. We'll we'll look into it and figure out what the heck's going on. 
I literally just was reading off the stuff that it says under um, on Discord. It may be a setting that we haven't enabled properly too. I'll have to double check that. There might be like a, a subscriber double vote setting that we haven't properly enabled. It Ooh, is supposed to be something that you get. Uh, I think we're down to just a couple more minutes on the on the poll. Uh, in the meantime, we can carry on, guys. It's not uh, time sensitive. Um, so the fight is over. Uh, Copernicus has uh, broadcast that he has found Tom. I've asked him to not untie Tom. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you've uh, healed. Uh, the two of you have come over and healed up uh, Ugna. Yeah, um, somebody's passed me like a towel. The... I'm like mopping some of the blood and sweat off my face. Uh, one of the... Uh, I'm licking it with my snake tongue. One of the, the bandits uh, has come over and administered a healing potion uh, to Harakgar. Oh. Who is sort of groggily getting to his feet. <laughs> <clears throat> He groggily gets to his feet, kind of like does like this, and and like almost shyly glances over at, at Ugna, and then kind of like hustles off with his buddies into the uh, crowd. When he glances over, I'm giving like a great big tusky grin and like a little, little like wave. Are, are you like just like <laughs> and a what, wink? What are you going for here? Okay, you're going for flirt. I thought yep. you might be going for like gloat. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Okay, in that case, he very much does um, blush. <laughs> does he have blood oh. left for that? You <laughs> <laughs> got, got, got some new Is blood. Is blushing or just bruising? Yeah. Yeah, you're not sure. He's just got a bruise on each cheek. It's it's on the same mm -hmm. face that he just got smashed repeatedly into mm -hmm. his fists and yep. forehead. Uh, and we're down to near the end of our... Uh, our poll. Um, okay, so now what? Um, uh, Shagrat, as I said, was saying to Tromlin, okay, this better be worth it. Um, he'll, like, snap his fingers at uh, one of uh, uh, some of his uh, soldiers that'll uh, hustle off uh, through the crowd. Um, so... Question. Can I see what, what food they've been eating this whole time? Can I see what just uh, kind of... Yeah, it's it's game. Like they've clearly been like hunting and gathering. Um, there's some uh, some of the food that they're eating right now is clearly like uh, stores, like dried things that have uh, obviously been um, acquired from uh, uh, from the, their various raids. You want uh, obviously? Food? Yeah, you already know about. You already know about the, um, like, that they took stuff from that previous um, caravan. So they've got, like, various hardtack and other kinds of, um, uh, other kinds of preserved stuff. But the majority of what they're eating is, like, literally fresh meat, like venison off of I, uh, some hunted deer. I was like, look, in my everyday life, when I'm not running errands for the guild, I'm a chef. Let me help improve your, your soldier's mood with a good meal. We'll get some bounty going. They had a great fight. A little revelry. They need something to pick their spirits up for. It's coming ahead. All right. I mean, I, he, he kind of looks around at, uh, at they're all, there's just like a crowd of people around Ugna, like, like hammering on her yeah. shoulders and being uh, and like, going, woo, woo, people uh, trading um, gold. <laughs> Um, yeah. They Trading uh, gold for the people who made the various wagers. It's a way to ensure they don't wander off. You've given them a fight. Give them a feast. Fight on this, they fight on sure. this. I mean, we don't have, we have what we have. We don't exactly have stuff like with me. fancy I've, stuff. All right. I've got, I brought spices. I can cook. I can make something for you. I promise. Ugna looks over right, well, from the, like, cheering area and sort of goes like, We good? Talk At Tromlin. Uh, 
this blue. Oh, I think I think you muted yourself, Randy. We lost you. Oh. I can't hear you. Hello? Oh, there Randy? we are. Now oh, I you're back. You. Yep. I, I nod to Una. That cool. Good. She looks hey, Shagrat visibly relaxed. Towards... She's like, God, well, <laughs> Shagrat points you towards some of the um, uh, the bandits who uh, are kind of like wearing, like they, they've put grubby uh, uh, skins or hides like yeah. aprons over themselves. Clearly they've been doing the cooking. Um, and says, hey, see what you can do. All right, I'll go uh, over. And then, um... and then he stands up and puts his hands up and goes, okay, everybody, you had your fun. Those of you who are supposed to be on watch, get your eyes back where they're supposed to be, and we're going to get a feast together here. And everyone goes, yeah, preach. Uh, what do I roll to cook? Is that performance? Um, yeah, I do believe. No, no, it's um, a tool use. So you're rolling your, uh, I believe we said it was wisdom generally, mm -hmm. plus your uh, proficiency bonus because of the tools. So, it's a, so that is a plus uh, seven. Is it um two dice or one? I forget the word. I'm I'm right. out of it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's D twenty roll. Okay. Or do you mean um advantage? I would normally advantage. say you. I would I would give you advantage for being a professional chef, but in this situation, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no because it's such a limited fare. Um, twenty three. So it cancels out. So even with the crap that they have here, even with just like. Fresh meat, some dried like hard tack and dried fruit and vegetables, dried fungus, which came from somewhere, um, and the ingredients that you've contributed, uh, you're able to actually make something pretty, pretty, pretty special. Um, you've got some wine that you can kind of make sauce out of and like do like so you, you you dress things up pretty pretty good. With spices I'm basically and just sauces. trying to pick all their morale up, so hopefully, if they happens, yep. they're not going to be just broken. You're probably going to do the stew trick again because it's such a large number of people. So yeah. you get like a, they get a big old cast iron uh, 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 cauldron out over the fire, and you start directing them on making a, a, hey, a big stew. Uh, stew in, when you've had nothing but hard tack for a while is amazing. So, and while this is happening. Uh, Copernicus, you're kind of watching the tent as some guards come in, um, grab uh, Shattersmith's uh, uh, the pole that he's tied to again, undo the pin, and haul it back out. Actually, no, they wouldn't. They'll leave the pole there. They just like they just untie him and like lead him out of the tent. You know, he stumbles a bit, like rubbing at his wrists from being tied up for so long. And they bring Tom uh, over to the, the campfire, to the bonfire, uh, and Ugna, they bring Tom over. Hey, Tom. Hey, how, how are you doing? Are you okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm fine now. I, I, Ugna. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I was looking for you. I didn't, when I got captured by these bandits, I didn't think that you'd find me. Why were you looking for me? And why were you looking for me out I, here? Dad sent me. He said that you'd taken the, the ring road. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I told him we were coming this way. Why, why, why? what's up at home? Is your dad okay? Yeah, he had a message for you. He, he got, he received, he, he, he got some kind of delivery, some kind of package, something from far away. And he said, uh, since I was traveling up the road anyway, to uh, bring some goods with me through uh, uh, to Ravenfall, I uh, I said I'd I'd find you and, and deliver the message. Okay. Um, Why were you going said, to Ravenfall? There's some bad stuff going on there right now. I don't really understand it, but I know it's bad. Just I have some uh, some goods to sell. We have some uh, some knives and some pots. I or I did. Right, right, right. Well, maybe you want to go back home right now because there's like a bunch of uh, like like uh, big shadow ravens killing people on that road. So maybe don't go that way. I, I wave my finger at Ugna. He can't go anywhere yet. Oh, what? What? I thought he was free. That's why I did the whole fight thing. <clears throat> Free-ish. Oh. Well, I, I look at Tom. We're gonna. 
Or have I met Tom before? Do I know him? You've seen him before. You know Sal pretty pretty decent, but like you don't you and you've seen his son around. His son comes and goes, but you you don't know him as well as you've done. Um, I I say to Warvis, look, I put my neck on the line for you, so do Ugna. We do need your help, specifically your smithing skills. Of course. Um, um, and off, at this point, Shagrad is going to step up out of the crowd and clap one big meaty hand on uh, Tom's shoulder and say, so, uh, you're going to be making some weapons for us, right? I kind of look at him. Yeah. And Tom's like, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, Ugna shoots Tromlin a real, like, this is part of the plan, right, kind of look. Yes, that... absolutely it is. <laughs> yeah. I'll say Tom, I'll, I'll say, so I'm going to say it in common, because I want Shagrang to hear it, because I, I don't want to foster any mistrust. Look, someone put a bounty on your head for 5,000 gold. What? Ugna, yes, it does not make sense. Someone in town, though. So you going to town is in danger to you. You're actually safer here right now than anything. Second, Ugna put her her life on the line for you. Well, I put my neck on the line. We need your help making better weapons well, I mean, I have. Like, if it's fucked up, I'd probably be in a lot of trouble. So, I'm like, we need to help your help making better weapons for these people, because they're fighting an evil that, if it's not checked, it could spread. And let's be honest, dwarves know the best weapons. I'll do my best. Um, and Shagrat is like, yes, you will, because you cost me <laughs> 5,000 gold. Uh-huh. I said, look at this, Tom. You, <laughs> most of us think we're worthless. You know for a fact you're worth 5,000 gold. I'll, oh. I'll tell your dad you're okay, okay? <laughs> I'll tell him you're all right. <laughs> like, uh, you, can, you send, can you send a message? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I know a guy send, who's like magic. If you can send a message to Ravenfall, like, they'll be looking for me. Oh, okay. I, um, I, I'm, oh. I'm already a day... Off the road. Speaking of messages, who, sh- what, what, what did you have to tell me? Uh, and he kind of looks around now that you're like surrounded by other people. Right. Uh, like, uh, I, I, oh. I mean, I'm supposed to just tell you. Oh, okay, maybe maybe later. You didn't hear that. I see the guy like really close to me and like give him a look. <laughs> Dagrat like shrugs. Like, he's like, I, I, I didn't care at all. I can also care less. <laughs> Um, I need to. <laughs> it's very gonna, easy for me to carry zero when I already carry zero. I'm gonna DM um, Tromlin and say uh, we have Demon three messaging. scrolls of sending. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we have three scrolls of sending. We can send word to Ravenfall if you know someone there that knows him. Um, and also, I think that invisibility is only an hour, and I feel like if we're cooking, at some point we're gonna lose it. So we should. I'm gonna probably just say like, Fedid and I are about to yeah. make our entrance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You need to saunter in all casual. You two need like, to get yeah. out, and then we're gonna say our comrades are here. We need to let them in. Uh, I don't think Grandpa's gonna do that. Partly because Grandpa forgot that the demon cut him up real bad last session. Ooh. So Grandpa has like <laughs> two hit points left. <laughs> um, if Grandpa walks near me, I can heal him. Me too. But I, Grandpa, Grandpa has to let you know where he is without you letting can... anyone else know. I guess you I can, can get out of the camp a lot more easily than getting in. Like, there are, like, ladders and things and ropes. I, I won't make you make a roll. You can just climb out. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa wants but, to make an entrance, but... Like, a, a real entrance, but I, I'll do it I'll do it the way that doesn't provoke uh, any situations. <laughs> if you and Fetid are leaving the camp, then Fetid can, can do some healing on you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can... You can cast Cure Wounds at, like, second level if you want. Uh, that would be your last second level spell, because you've done a couple pass without traces. I think it does seem like we might be, getting a, might be getting a long rest. Yeah. Oh, and I think maybe Why? before, before uh, we're in camp and, like, there's ears all around, I think I'm going to send Dangolf a message with one of the sending scrolls. Mm. Um, we, got, we got the three. Um, sure. Mm-hmm. So, hang on. So, you're going to... Uh, let's roll the healing first. Okay. So, Fetid... Yeah, what do I roll for that? 
two d eight plus four for a second level heal. You're an eight. No, you're an eight. You're an eight. Uh, four, three, seven, and you said plus four. So eleven hit points back. Okay. Yes. And do you remember how much I took from? I know I know I, I, know I took uh, I rolled a four plus five was nine damage and then do you remember how much the falling damage was on me was it four more? Yeah, three or four. It was a d six, okay. so it couldn't have been a I huge th- number. I think I may have actually been at zero that entire time. <laughs> I was either at one or zero. <laughs> we, we'll good. Okay. Good. We'll hand wave that. That's I'm at fine. twelve now. We're gonna call it. Okay. You also, I'll remind you, have a healing potion from the potions that Gorpa identified. I thought, oh, did I not give her that? Or oh, I thought I, you kept one of them. I could be wrong. I, I only have the sending down as like items that I've picked okay. up and kept. And the knife, I guess. Mm. And we'll assume you don't have it then. Um, so, yeah, the two of you can like make your way out of the camp quite easily. And uh, drop the spell and then be yeah. brought in as uh, Tromlin says, oh, our companions have arrived. Can you bring them in? Now, while you're waiting out there, you said you wanted to use the scroll of sending? Yeah, to send a message to Dan Gull. Okay. So, hold on. Right, there's 20, 24 words, 25? 25 words. 25 words. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say Shaylin, Tark, and the Knight Slayers, which is one word. <laughs> um, good, good. Magic. Serious magic. Fairy, queen, ancient war, unite the north. Serious motherfucking magic. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, motherfucking war. The response comes. (laughs) What? (laughs) Where are you? Where are you now? (laughs) <laughs> that I may come and discuss these matters at your earliest convenience, my good. He, he met you. Yeah. Yeah, he met you. Uh, my good warlock. Please respond post haste. That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta use another scroll. Yeah, or or not. Do it I mean, later or something. Dan Gulls can the cast only... it at will. Yeah, I'm gonna he let him get back use to us. He can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna let him. So send you just him. don't respond and you wait until until he until, until he, he eventually on red. Red. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's met you. Uh, I'm gonna say it's good enough for him to cast the the spell. Um, you've talked to him now. You reach out to him and he's met you. That will qualify as familiar with so he can cast it. Um, so sometime later. So that so we'll pick that up later then because before he gets yeah. back to you, you get introduced and brought into the camp. Um, so uh, Glorpa is back on uh, Ugna's shoulders, uh, hanging out all snakefied. Uh, but now the rest mm-hmm. of you are all here uh, as Tromlin... Uh, see, well, this seems... You know, you don't all know Tromlin very well other than Ugna. Um uh, you know, you're getting to know your, your grandson, Fenefnew, whatever. I don't know how you want to put it. Um, uh, but uh, it seems like every time you like meet a large group of people, he cooks, he cooks for, for them. them. Yeah. It just seems to be a thing that happens every time. But he's like now making a huge thing of stew uh, and and turning the charm on with all of these uh, with all of these uh, bandits. Uh, actually, I yeah, I can actually perform and sing as I do it, too. Oh, yeah. I just realized. Oh, for sure. Also, let me do a perform check real fast. Just oh, do I need to do more healing on my grandfather? Uh, yeah, when he shows up, he kind of looks a little bit worse for wearing. <laughs> we um, did hear him granddad. fall off of a wall. Mm-hmm. Now, 16 it's more points. Probably mostly still the torn up from the demon claws. Mm-hmm. Um, 16 more points. A little bit of everything. Yeah. 16 more? Thank you yeah. very much. A fall Let's off see. a wall, a little self-inflicted blood magic damage. <laughs> Just the so, normal sort of grandpa yeah. wounds. Yeah. Yep. yep. So performance is plus seven. 
Sometimes you got to cast a spell on yourself so a necrotic uh, disembodied hand throws you over a wall. <laughs> um, I got a 22. I, especially as you get older. Oh, yeah. I got a 22, so I will start singing a bunch of like typical body. Well, I, I know goblins, so I probably know some goblin goblin yeah. songs. So I'll start goblin singing, drinking like, songs. I'll start Hell singing yes. the filthy ones that everyone loves. Oh, oh yeah. That sounds like Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing now, like, like Finnegan's Wake, but, like, done with, like, death metal voice. Yes. Yep. So that's what Pretty I'm much. doing, and I'm occasionally banging on the side of the pot for percussion. Which for him to drop? Look, I'm just <laughs> trying to... Wake. I think, considering everything he has told me, their spirits have to be shit. So yeah. we've got... No, for sure. Them. They have fallen back from, like, multiple losses... And, like, a so, number of them have, like, deserted because they're like, fuck this. I'm just a bandit. So I'm desperately trying to raise their... Because we're asking a shitload. Yep. I don't care if they're goblins or hobgoblins. This is a lot to ask. Yeah, I, I think... So that you get the impression as you... So you can kind of... The whole b bunch of you can kind of gather some information as you talk to these bandits and, and get the feeling that, yeah, their morale is low, but, like, it's high enough. Basically, there's there's a... The sort of respect for Shagrat, like there's a there's a discipline here, thanks to Shagrat and his core of hobgoblins, that is keeping this whole thing together. If it was like someone less, you know, good at this kind of organization and leadership than Shagrat, they would have already completely disintegrated and splintered. Um, you, you feel like if it if it wasn't for Shagrat, you would have got here too late. Right. Like with the most recent situations where that other camp was taken and the, the, the most recent raids, you you, you feel like it, they would have already splintered and it would be all over and Shaylin's people would have won, so maybe it would be fine by the Thieves' Guild. But, but it would probably be bad be for everyone threat, else. <laughs> there'd be this threat to the North, apparently. There's another reason, like, Tremont would probably say this in his mind, at least his grandfather, the other reason of doing this is if we could pick up the spirits of his men... Shagrag will be even more on our side. Yes. It'll yeah. make... This is greasing a wheel. I'm just trying to win trust. It plus... Uh, yeah. <laughs> while we're... Kind of need us. While we're eating, yep. um, I'm going to try and find Shagrat for a minute. And uh, Udon will like, sidle over and be like, Hey, uh, you said there was a guy in town that was going to like pay money for Tom, right? Do you know who he was? Yeah, I mean, I don't know his name, I, oh. but I know where he is. He's at the inn. What's he look like? I want to talk to him. He was an elf. Um, uh, one of those underground ones. Got uh, kind of purple skin, white hair. Um, all white eyes, really weird. Can't tell where he's looking. Fancy kind of elf. creepy. Um you know, honestly, I, I said he, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm elves. Weird sing-songy voice that could be anything. Um, but wearing, like, real, this really heavy purple robe kind of thing that was, like, just all... Like, there could be, like, two more people under there. I wouldn't have known it. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll certainly notice him in a crowd. Yeah, and was, like, slinging a lot of gold around at the end. Um, I like how that could just as easily be like three gnomes in a trench coat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yep. With with like a, a drow mask on a stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm... And uh, the bounty was for uh, uh, him and all he carried was huh. the wording. Mm -hmm. So I'm That's guessing they don't want you. To, they don't want you to search him. That's, yeah. I guess the point. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. I'll I'll keep an eye out for him. Yeah, I'm just keep in mind. I'm too. I'm not going to be the only. Uh, there's going to be other people who heard about this bounty. What yeah, I want to. I want to I wanna know where the bounty came from. <laughs> where, where's Tom's stuff? Most of it's sold already. Like pots and uh, knives and some tools. I feel like there is yeah. something important in there. 
<laughs> I, I don't know. Noth I mean, nothing that was obvious. We sold it to the to um, to our usual fences in town, or at least as much of it as they were interested in for the moment. There's some stuff left here. Actually, that pot that they're using right there was was one of them. Yeah. So our, our cook thought it was useful, so we kept it. It would be you helpful. Get the impression, like Tom will even pipe up and say, it was just like normal goods, like just from some good dwarven make blades and and cooking implements and tools from the, from the, the mountain. Hmm. Just shipping it out, uh, out to to the the western markets through Avonfall. That was just, by the way, I I was just bringing my message, uh, or bringing the message because I was coming out this way anyway. Right. Uh, I imagine at this point our group has like kind of gone off away from some of the bandits and are like having a little private dinner. Yeah, uh, as it's getting later here, you guys can kind of settle in for a rest as well. Cool. So it's a good time for me to sort of be like, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about the message. What? What what happened? What did what your dad send me out? What what happened? Uh, looks at the others, the rest of your group. I'm like, oh, they're cool. Uh, you're, okay, mm -hmm. I was supposed to just tell you, but if you don't mind, he said, uh, uh, he he said he got something um, that was sent. He he said it was from your mother. My mother? No. Oh. I thought she died years ago. I don't, I don't get the impression that it was sent by your mother. He just said it was the, the, the package was from your mother and that you'd understand. Oh. Well, does, does he have it? Yes. Oh, okay. It was delivered to the, the fighting ring. Like, it was delivered for you, I guess. Hmm. Like, that's where you live, right? Yeah. With, yeah. At my dad's. I mean, I don't. I, I haven't seen you in a while. I don't know if you're still. Oh no, I, I got a house with Tromlin now, just like just up the street from there. But like, I basically live in the ring. I don't know who sent it, uh, who the the merchant was or anything. Just, I was stopping in town, and my father said that since you were, you had gone up the road at where I was going, that I'd probably find you in Stormhill. Alina has thought of a thing, but Ugna is not very smart. <laughs> So I am rolling a d6. Yep. Oh, it's a six. Cool. This occurs to Ugna nice. as well. Uh, okay. She goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The bounty hunters wanted whatever you had, but you didn't have anything special. But a special thing was sent to your dad. Is your dad in trouble? I hope not. I, like, look to Tromlin. <laughs> Can we send word to him? To try. Or, if nothing else, I can send word to someone I know to go check on him. Mm -hmm. That might be better. Because mm -hmm. um, I have enough contacts in Mud Hollow that I can do that. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't, but, we don't want anything happening to Sal. No, God, no. No, no, no. Sal's a good, good soul. But first off, Tom, you need to eat Real food, have some water. I don't want you to type the steak. Sit down. I just realized that if Trauma ever like moves over to Warlock, his book will be a, a cookbook. <laughs> Good. Oh god, and you'll have like a terrible uh, cauldron of evil yeah. that you also make stews in. <laughs> of evil a crock pot. <laughs> you'll, if you ever meet. Yeah, if you ever <laughs> meet like little. a, if you ever meet like a, um, I, I feel like that wouldn't fit with the uh, with Copernicus's uh, patron. But if you ever meet like some kind of like gourmand fae, oh, yeah. you're like I pledge myself. Nice teach. Tome, pact of the tome, pact of the cookbook. Dionysus, he's my current patron right now. It's true. Um, oh, and you're making so, a feast. Like Perfect. To the next level. <laughs> Oh, actually, no. Speaking of which, you should probably roll again for right now, because you guys had a long rest at, uh, from the Mykonids. All right, I thought it was after the Mykonids that he rolled. 
No, Dionysus has been was the day before. Oh, gotcha. Unless you rolled it again and I just didn't pay attention. Eighteen. Eighteen on the Randy's God list. Yeah. That's what the file is called in my folder. <laughs> Oh, Vergadane. How appropriate. The Laughing Dwarf, the Dwarven God Ooh. of Luck, Trickery, Negotiation, and Wealth. Hey. Symbol is a gold coin with a dwarf's head in profile. So you're really chumming up to young say, Dom. I will say a prayer over all our food, flip the coin, catch it, slam it down. Flip my hand. The dwarf head, because both sides are heads for the, for the Vergadane. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, in the interest of time, I, I, I will 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 give you some role playing time because I imagine you might have a little chat around the fire. Um, but we'll say that you're all really tired and you have it in the morning uh, because I want to get to one last thing, and Ooh. we only got about ten minutes left, which is that during the night, Glorpa is going to have another vision. <laughs> Oh. Good. Um, so, you have a dream in which you see um, the uh, you've seen him before. Uh, you remember when Copernicus took you and Fetid up to the keep um, in Stormhill, uh, so that Copernicus could ask questions of uh, Otto Thriftwick's corpse. And while you were there, uh, Copernicus met the um, the local lord, Lord Boultry. Um, and in your dream, you see uh, Lord Boultry sitting on his um, uh, his kind of crappy throne, his his chair of of leadership in the hall, the great hall at. Uh, at uh, the keep, um, basically, it's just a, a a a big wooden chair covered in like uh, wolf pelts, because it's the north, because it's the north. Uh, and he's sitting kind of sprawled on it, like bored. Uh, and you see that his uh, guards have brought someone before him, and you're sort of seeing this from the point of view uh, of the one who is speaking. Um, and there's almost like a, a, a an eeriness to the light around the person whose point of view you are experiencing. Um, you can see firelight flickering uh, uh, all around in this very like style of a northern um, uh, of a northern like long hall, and it reminds you of like you know tales from days of yore when when all humans lived in these like like war. Uh, warlike camps with their their long halls, um, but the person who is speaking, uh, you don't hear a voice, but you hear uh, Lord Boultry's uh, responses, um, and he says, "So why should I care about these travelers and their quest to what is it again? Weed out." The, some of the bandits, but not the others, for some reason. And there's a pause as he listens to the muffled response. Again, you hear like a voice, but like as if it's coming out of deep water and you can't really make out uh, any of the words. Uh, you hear the, the cracking of the, the fire that's that the whatever kind of bonfire or whatever is lighting up this hall with all the flickering of light. And uh, the voice says... Uh, and, and then, and then, Boultry responds. Really, my nephew, you say. And you can tell me where to find him then. And I would mm -hmm. seek out your master in order to learn this at the inn. Very good. Give him 
his reward. And one of the, the men takes a small, like a meager sort of pouch of coins and throws it towards the speaker that you can't see. Um, and then this, the, the, you, you feel like whoever's point of view you're seeing has like faded from the scene and you're just looking, you're watching like the omniscient uh, uh, author as uh, the, the, um, the Lord Boltry turns to his men and goes, very well, send uh, some men to apprehend this, um, this merchant, this Loxodon at the inn. I want to find out everything he knows about my nephew. Yes, just just the Loxodon. You don't need to bring any of his men. Uh, this deal has already been struck. Shit. That's bad. <laughs> All right. In a way, um, realizing that um, that this vision is something that you know as you wake, this vision is something that has taken yeah. place. Oh, has to. You feel like okay. this has already happened. Okay. Um, and you you feel that there is um, some danger for Diomedes the Loxodon, um, that he and Tromlin have been betrayed. Okay. All right. So Glorfus shares this one because she's when you wake up from this vision, it's the middle of the night. If this is like early in the night. Uh, and so uh, there's nobody up except for Copernicus. Oh, hey! I'm assuming you guys aren't bothering to set a guard other than Grandpa. I hope we don't you're in the middle to. of an Yeah, I camp. hope not. Yeah. yeah, that would be bad. That'd be embarrassing. It's just Copernicus. Um. Cool. Uh. Herney. Uh. I had a dream that I can tell happened, and. As you know, probably, uh, I don't I don't really follow generally what, what's going on with all the business that people are talking about. I'm just here to have a good time. So, but I remember something about a nephew being a situation, being like a, an important thing. I think he's um, the cook guy. The He's, yeah, probably that guy. Right. The one that made us food tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good cook. So, uh... I'm going to tell you about this dream. Oh, God, I don't want to repeat everything that I just wrote. It's terrible. Now I want to know what you wrote. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, wrote, I wrote things in quotation marks that definitely were important, and then I uh, miswrote words <laughs> along it. Oh, Jesus. This is terrible. Um, do you remember who Lord Baltry was? I remember that name vaguely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Is that before or after I got it on with the fern? Sometime in there, anywhere, I think. Um, I think it was after. All blends together. Yeah. That's why I had a hard time remembering him. Okay. I was a little blissed out. So I had a dream about him, and he wants that Loxodon. I think his name started with a D. The big old yes. elephant dude. Diomedes. Yeah, that's what an Loxodon is, right? Diomedes, yeah. there we go. Okay. Uh, I think Lord Baltry wants to confront the elephant dude. And find his nephew. His nephew? His nephew. Yeah. Okay, I, does that make I, any sense to you? Traumon is Lord Boltry's nephew and uh, is ah. wanted by the family in a rather stabby way. Negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I thought I should probably tell you. Because you guys are family, right? We should assume that there's a wanted poster of each of us up in the keep by now. <laughs> um, and do you know, um, do you have a sense of when this might have taken, the conversation that you dreamt of, when it might have taken place in time? Do I? Do I? It was evening. Nah. It could have been just Bless this past me. evening, dark. but it could have been the day before or the day before. Yeah. Could have just been in a dark cave. Last, we saw it, know, two days ago, it would have so. to be within the last two days because you came yeah. to town like two days right. ago. So it's either... This oh, evening. Oh wow! What's happened? The just the evening that just passed, or the evening before that, 
or the evening before that, which was the day that you, that would have been like right after you met with him, basically. Right. The, the chances of being able to do ascending to warn, to warn him to run is probably like our window's gone. Yeah. 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 Got any ideas? Um, the, uh, I, I think that the danger of being here and the danger of anyone who knows us being here has just increased substantially. Mm. We'll have to tread okay. carefully, says the guy who <laughs> blood hauled himself <laughs> over a wall. Yeah. Not 12 hours ago. There. Form of treading carefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really want to control where I end up, so I'll throw myself there with my own spell. I have great aim. (laughs) (laughs) I think we can tell the. I think we can tell the group in the morning. Um, Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, sounds like things will be exciting. This could be Tromlin's last night of good sleep for a while, so let's let him enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's thought. Good thoughtful. Hey, so that's a good place to wrap it up. We'll pick it up in the morning with this conversation Next uh, time. I'll thank the, the chat for the uh, the polls uh, the subject of Glorpa's uh, vision was of course chosen by the chat um, oh. they chose Tromlin in danger as their oh, choice of guys. which vision <laughs> I make all of you mad what the fuck <laughs> well other interpretation is that Tromlin was in danger and they wanted to make sure you knew about it right okay that oh. I appreciate. Yeah, that I appreciate. there you go. That's a more charitable way to put it. Uh, the other thing that was chosen by the chat uh, was uh, the reason that Sal was here. Ooh. Oh, Tom. Cool. Yeah, or Tom. So yeah, Tom, yeah. not Sal. Okay. And by the way, the 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 um, the vision that Glorpa just had. Uh, brings back something that was chosen by the chat several games ago that I told you had already happened. Ooh, interesting. Uh, which was which was Tromlin being betrayed by someone, and the chat chose who it was. But we don't know. That's correct. I have a uh, couple of guesses, and I don't like any of them. Yeah, but so, it's someone with a master, right? So, like, it wouldn't be yeah. a lone agent. Yeah. Yeah, let's pretend I told you I was, that. I was really worried it was Penny Whistle, because uh, we trusted yeah. her a lot. But I don't think she's... As far as I know, she's kind of a free agent. I will reveal that Penny Whistle was one of the options in the in the poll. Okay. Wait, she does have a mask. But was not she chosen. For, she works was for not the uh, guild, but still. I, yeah. I'll also say, from, from Glorpa's vision, it sounded like the master in question was Diomedes. Because they oh, said... Oh, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. That, We'll get your. We'll oh, get sure. your. We'll talk to your master or something like that. Seek this out by talking to your master. Yeah. Oh, also, it so sounded it, like igneous. It's igneous. Maybe. Oh. Well, it, there's it, also this. The more like igneous. igneous was, flame. Igneous was also <laughs> not. Uh, igneous was not. Um, Diomedes wasn't Igneous's <laughs> master. Yeah. Oh. I'll point that. He was traveling with them. Uh, he did have sold people with them. Hey, at least you know it wasn't Heckle and Jekyll. That's true. Yeah. No they're, they're good boys. They're yeah, good boys. I, feel I like bad them. About murdering they're them. good jabronis. You what? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you murder them? He would feel bad about murdering them. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Heracles and Heracles. So, uh, uh, I will uh, point out uh, just a few things here now. We're at the end of the stream. Um, I'd like to thank. We actually have our bits leaders being tracked now, which is oh, great. Oh, good. Yay. Um, so thanks to uh, Paul Twitch username, who is the uh, the uh, the bit leader, and thanks as well to our uh, bit number two, which is uh, Metageeky, and number three, which is Lady Toad and Yoshi. Um, so y'all get shout outs uh, Yay, for being guys. the bit leaders. Awesome. We might We've... consider a um, we might consider some sort of like gifts to the um, uh, to the bit leaders. With uh, also, future who was streams. it that dumped like a lot of bits into the stream earlier? That was crazy. Oh, yeah, super that's got to be Paul. That, that was a lot of bits. Be... <laughs> Paul is the bit leader, so it's got to be Paul. Thank you, Paul. Unless that Thank was you. Uh, unless that was something else. And, and that might be because I think those might have been channel points rather than bits. I'm oh, maybe sure. it was. It was a lot. <laughs> and, I don't, and I think those counted separately. Yeah, yeah. 
In any case, I can't see that far back in the chat anymore because I have uh -huh. to refresh. But. Should we do the roll for the subscribers? Because I've got the list up here. Uh, Lar tells us it was BMF Scythe. So thank hey. you very much, BMF Scythe. Thank you. Uh, for Ooh. giving everybody some inspirations. Hell yes. Um, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it's time for the... So the standing draw, so the next drawing goes to... Um, uh, my brain shut off. Seabass? Seabass, yes, yep. thank you. Um, um, we are now uh, at bass, a D14. Okay, so I shall roll, but is that after removing people, or do you just want to, like, ignore certain numbers? I'll just, I'll get you to roll again if we roll those. Okay, so I'll roll a D20 then, and I'll re-roll anything above 14 as well. Mm. So I have a 13. 13. So second from the last. Is... Uka is Tadazuke. Done? Ah... Who is a new subscriber, looks like, which is awesome. A new subscriber. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uka Padazuke. So, uh, new subscriber, Uka Padazuke, you should uh, contact Alina so that you can get set up on the, um, uh, on the Discord, because that will make it the easiest to give you your, um, uh, your gift, your sketch card. Or if you prefer not to be on the Discord, you can just send Alina an email address to receive your yeah. sketch card. At uh, weregeekcomic at gmail.com. Great. And I'll remind everybody who is subscribed who has not yet done so, uh, if you want access to the subscriber-only Discord, uh, let Alina know. Um, you can automatically get in there if you sync your Discord with your Twitch account. Um, it will automatically add you. But if you have not done so, um, uh, Alina can just add you to the Discord directly. Sweet. Yeah, it's okay, Kai, too, because uh, the recordings will be up, the VOD will be up, so anyone yeah. who is subscribed and is not online will still see that um, when it comes along. And if it turns out we don't have any way to send somebody a... Um, uh, a subscriber, a uh, uh, a sketch card. It's all good. We'll we'll uh, uh, you know it's it's just like Patreon. If somebody wants to support someone without actually getting the rewards, that's their choice. You know, mm -hmm. we can't we can't make them. Yeah, take this gift. Come, uh, and, get, come take and get it. their gifts. Accept our gratitude. <laughs> exactly. So uh, uh, let's do our end of game shoutouts. Uh, I'll do my uh, my usual one. Uh, big thanks to our shadow DM Dan, as always. Woo! Uh, I'm trying to remember Dan's uh, Dan the paradox in the chat, as you may see him uh, moderating things up for us. Thank you, as always, Dan. Uh, Lady Totenyoshi, the sketch card will come via Discord, or if you prefer, you can just uh, email Alina yeah. uh, to have it sent. Uh, uh, that way, but uh, just a, a private DM on Discord is the is the easiest way we have to contact uh, subscribers. Um, so, does anybody else have anything that they want to shout out? Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It was a hell good stream. Uh, I'll do my usual shout outs. Uh, I've got another stream tomorrow. Uh, on this channel, it'll be, uh, let me tell you about my character, where my friend Maggie and I randomly generate ridiculous D&D characters, and I draw them. So if you want to see us draw some really, really, really goofy D&D characters, tune in here tomorrow, uh, 1 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. Uh, EST. Um, what else? Uh, we got Something Wicked at twitch.tv slash something5e, uh, which is the comedy horror D&D uh, game I do on every Wednesday. Uh, where I play someone who is a lot smarter than Ugna. <laughs> uh, come see hard. me play play Mikey, uh, who is very, very smart, uh, who is as smart as Ugna is dumb. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, check us out uh, Wednesdays at 3, you know, 6 p.m. Uh, PST. That's it. That's my shout-outs. Anybody else? Got any projects? or? Yeah, I've got, I got like a... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead, you go ahead. Oh, I've just, mine's a bit of an odd one, but uh, a friend of mine who is like a really wonderful tabletop RPG person and was a 
GM for a podcast called World Walkers uh, passed away yesterday. Oh. And there's a GoFundMe for uh, his wife and daughter um, who, like, they, just, they take a lot of time off work as a family to care for him through palliative care. Uh, mm. And I would love if you'd consider going to donate there. So I'll just tweet the link out. I'm at Rock Paper Cynic on Twitter, and I'll tweet that out just afterwards. Honestly, yeah, that's probably the best shout out there. Yep. I want to throw a shout out to Jeff because I keep forgetting about this. We still haven't got the credits up on oh, that right. amazing intro. Hell yes. Um, oh, no the worries. music, of course, written and performed uh, by Jeff Jocks. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And animated by Alina. Jeff Jockerson's. We will eventually get that, get those credits on the video. Yeah. Any other shout outs? Posting photos of my garden on Instagram. Ooh. Nice, it's really it. Nice. <laughs> tired. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good news. Alrighty. All good. Sounds so, good. Uh, yeah. next time we may have a guest. I have to. I have to. Not yet confirmed the date, but we will have another guest in the near future. Um, so watch out for that. But otherwise. Uh, we will see y'all next time on the Hot and Steamy Trash Heroes. Oh, speaking of Hot That's and Steamy, so steamy. you'll have to let us know, uh, Alina, if Ugna ended up sleeping in the tent with the rest of the, the group or not. Yeah, I don't. I think one way or another she's not in the camp, to, like in the group's camp tonight. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> Maybe right, we'll, we'll talk about that in between. Right, see ya. Bye. Bye.